What's up guys, PG here, hope you have a wonderful day. Welcome to a new Shiba Inu video, Shiba Inu news, Shiba Inu update. This video is a little different than normal videos, a little special, because I've been realizing that Shiba Inu now, we don't have a lot of daily news to cover. Shiba Inu, the Shiba Swap is now live, people are loving the Shiba Swap, everyone is focusing on the Shiba Swap, and uh, we don't get a lot of news to cover, so the market has been going down, people have been losing interest, and uh, not a lot of new news or just interesting news or valuable news are here to cover for Shiba Inu. So I was even asking myself today, do I even make a video or do I just not bother, keep on going with my life and not upload today? But um, my goal with this channel is to upload every single day. I've been uploading daily videos for more than six months now. And uh, I just it's my goal to just continue to make videos every single day. I don't want to just stop. It's uh, also one of my personal goals to just upload daily videos and uh, that's where the, the question comes in, what to cover when there's no news, do I just change from another coin, do I just don't talk about Shiba Inu anymore. Currently we've seen a lot of news that have just been the same for Shiba Inu videos and even in my videos I've been repeating the same stuff almost a lot of times so uh, it can get boring to the viewer, it can get boring to me and uh, no one is actually having a good time here. So I even saw yesterday people saying you should play guitar, it, it, it's a change for you, you should do this, you should do that. So um, I have also personally a lot of ideas, I have a lot of videos in mind, I have every single day I have different videos in mind that I can do but I, I overthink them and I ask myself is it really worth it to post it. I have a lot of different ideas of videos from all over the place, crypto videos, finance videos, even not financial related, not crypto related. So uh, I've been thinking a lot about videos, about videos ideas, and uh, maybe I'm just thinking way too much. I just need to post everything every single day and uh, see what I see, I feel best and what you feel best watching. So um, I overthink a lot. You, you might have guessed it with how I do my videos, etc. But um, in this video, we're gonna switch it up a little bit and not talk about Shiba Inu because Shiba Inu, we've seen that there are not a lot of news. Everyone is loving the Shiba Swap which is amazing for Shiba Inu and amazing for Shiba Inu holders. But um, I don't see myself just covering Shiba Swap or just reacting to videos like we did yesterday. It's not fun and I don't think it's really fun for you. And uh, it's not even positive like just bashing people or just being negative towards people making videos or just giving judging people. It's not uh, what I love to do and it's not uh, the best thing in the world in my opinion. So um, I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to try to find some great content and some content I love to do and that you love to what that you love to watch and uh, we can find a middle ground where we have fun together when we learn something and we just get better version of ourselves. So um, in this video, I'm going to respond to some topics, to some questions that I've been receiving. A lot of you were asking me what kind of books I was reading two to three weeks ago. You saw some books in the background when I was in another setting. It was also in the room, but it was another setting of the camera and there were some books in the background. So now I picked up a lot of books recently. So I'm just going to share them with you because that's also important. What I was thinking about is that crypto can uh, consume a lot. Shiba Inu can consume a lot. I saw people saying I wake up, I check Shiba Inu. I, I have breakfast, I check Shiba Inu. I go to the gym, I check Shiba Inu. I go to work, I check Shiba Inu. I go to bed, I check Shiba Inu and uh, we've been checking Shiba Inu 70 times a day. So it's not very healthy. So it's important to, um, to have different hobbies. It's important to just take a step back sometimes from crypto because it can consume a lot. It can get quickly unhealthy. So it's important to, um, to have other hobbies, to do some other activities, some healthy activities like maybe working out, like maybe walking, like maybe meditating, relaxing spending time with some friends, spending time with family, reading, learning new instruments, learning new skills. So crypto doesn't consume your whole life because it can quickly consume your whole mind, your whole life, and it can get quite unhealthy. Even for myself, I've been consuming in the last past weeks, the last past months, crypto a lot. Take a look at crypto, at cryptos, take a look at tokens, just working very, very hard on crypto. And uh, it's, it can get quite consuming very, very fast. So I'm talking about the books I've, I've been picking up recently. I'm just going to, I picked up a lot of books. Uh, I'm not usually a big reader, but I love to get books and uh, it's going to be a, a mission of mine, a goal to, to just get through them and try to read two to three a week. It's, it's not big books. It's, um, we have novels and we have just a lot of different styles. So um, the first one is here. It's getting to yes. 
negotiating an agreement without giving in. So um, I've been really interested in for a lot of time now about negotiating, about learning to negotiate. It's I think one of the, the most important skills in the world. And um, I'm even asking myself, is it really worth it to read books on, on negotiating? Is it really important to negotiate in life? If you need to negotiate, is it really worth it? But um, I think that it's uh, still very interesting and an important skill just to learn. So um, this is it, getting to yes, negotiating an agreement with, without giving in from Roger Fisher and William Urry. I don't know if you can see it, but this is it. Another one, same kind of book on negotiating I got is this one, Getting Past No. It's from the same author, William Urry, Negotiating in Difficult Situations. So um, that's also uh, an impre sa same kind of book, Getting Past No. Another one I got is this one, Letters from a Self-Made Merchant to His Son. This, w this was a book recommending that um, Ryan Holiday recommended. He's the author of Daily Stoic and he recommended that book. So um, I think that's really, really interesting. I'm a, I'm a big fan of of just le letters and just leaving just leaving some some history for people or just leaving some some words some some even some books behind for for the next generations for the family for my children so um, I'm a big fan of that so here's letters from a self-made merchant to his son another book I just got is a, I got a couple of ones from Stephen Pressfield the artist journey I got the war of art. And the last one from him, if I can find it here, Turning Pro from Stephen Pressfield. Three books from him, and uh, I've been hearing about him a lot. I've been reading some captions from him. I've seen some interviews from him, and I just said, yeah, why not pick up the books and just figure, find out what, what it's all about and if it's, uh, if it's valuable and great information. So that's from Stephen, Stephen Pressfield. Tap into your inner power and create your life's work. So um, another one I got is this one, We Work. Change the way you work forever, from Jason Fright and Dave, David Henheimer Hansen. Rework, so um, looked interesting. Didn't really, didn't really think about picking it up, but it was in the in the recommended. And I said, why not? This looks interesting. Another one that I started in audiobook was this one, Atomic Habits. It's one of the. It's a really popular book from James Clear. I follow him also on Twitter, and he's a he's just a really really interesting man and has some interesting input. So um, I think that's going to be an awesome book and a lot of people have been reading it. It's one of it's a bestseller and people love it. So um, let's see what it's all about. Atomic Habits. And a couple of ones here. Also a great one. I just I just have been loving reading stuff online. And I, I, I was thinking about I, I, I came across this book a couple years ago, three to four years ago. Is this one The Hero's Journey from Joseph Campbell. And um, I've been hearing really, really great things about him, about the book, and a lot of people have been recommending the book to me, and uh, it's, it just sounds awesome, and uh, I've, been, I've, been, I've been just familiar with his concept of the hero's journey, but I never picked up the book, so why not now start to read it, the hero's journey, and uh, we have a couple of more here, we have this one, The Magic of Thinking Big, from David Schwartz, I'm familiar with this book, but I never read it, so why not start now? And then I got two novels from John Fante, West of Rome, Full of Life. Those are just novels, fiction. And um, the last one is here from Robert Greene, Power, a really, really popular book that uh, I've been also listening to audio in the in audiobook on Audible. And uh, I'm a big fan of it also. So um, why not pick the book? I have Mastery. I have also the latest one here. I think I think it's for the, I don't know what the title is of the latest one, like for, 48, 48 laws of human nature, I think, and um, I also got this one. So why not start reading now? So those are all the books that I get to um, to just change up, get a hobby, start reading again, because uh, reading for me is also with phases. Sometimes I, I have a, motiv a motivation to start reading a couple of books, but then I, I lose the motivation because uh, I get it's hard for me to focus. Sometimes I, 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 have, I have a hard time focusing. So. I start a book, then I go to something else, I leave the book and I never really finish it. I think that I only finished a couple of books in my life, so um, it's something that I need to work on and just get the habit of finishing a book. I think it's really satisfying to finish it and very rewarding. So I'm going to be reading them and um, yeah, if you find that interesting and you want to, to know all the books that I'm reading, I, I can continue to, to share with you the book that I read. And uh, yeah, that's it for today's video, wanted to make a little update. and. Uh, 
tell me what you tell me what you want to see on the channel if you have some ideas from some content or if you just want me to to figure it out myself and just post until we find the great great videos because it's um it's it's always like that when um when you make videos it's it's impossible to do a, a, a certain type of video for for five years without changing up stuff without getting bored without the community getting bored i've been following youtubers for for a couple of years now when every single youtuber has been changing content has been changing the format changing the videos no one is making videos the same maybe some people are but uh, i'm not familiar with with people making videos for for years always the same content can get quite boring can get boring to the viewer so i'm going to try to switch it up a little bit and let's have some fun let's learn something so um if you want i can post the the all the books that i talked about here in the in the description and we can talk about it wherever you want if you want we can talk about it on telegram or whatever you want so i um, hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching if you did tell me in the comments and if you want to find something if you want to me to do a, a type of content tell me in the comments and uh, let's have some fun let's learn something and uh, thank you for watching